15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. Uh, my name is Judson Powell. The sun is super bright today and I can't find a place to park uh, right now. Anyway, <laughs> outside of the sun. All right, anyway, and plus we live in Arizona. It's the Valley of the Sun. What do you think this is? I'm on the Ra. Ra? Yeah, yeah, okay. We're not going to go there today. All right, anyway, um, voting. People, are, it's Super Tuesday. Super Tuesday. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I hope everybody's getting out and vote, and I hope that everybody uh, that has not registered to vote, because you still have time to register before the November election. All right, so if you didn't register and vote and you didn't vote at Super Tuesday, if you didn't vote today in your state or if there was no primary in your state today, uh, please go out and register to vote. Um, I don't agree with all of these other people. I'm sorry, I don't agree with Dr. Claude Anderson. I don't agree with Dr. Boyce Watkins. I don't agree with any of them because they're idiots, all right? And I'm, telling, I'm saying that and I'm saying it, you know, well, okay, they're not idiots, but they're idiots for not voting, okay? That's idiotic. Apathy, once again, apathy is not a strategy. One of these people that's running right now is going to end up being the president. All right. And if you don't get your vote in, then you have no say so. And if, when stuff goes crazy like Trump is doing now, that's how come. Look, Trump got elected because black folks didn't vote, period, period. And it's been proven. The statistics prove it out. He is the president because black folks didn't vote. Okay, let me throw some statistics out there right quick. 450, you know, I thought it was 400,000. 450,000 black people unregistered in the state of South Carolina. There were 500,000 new registered Democrats in the state of Florida. There are 300,000 unregistered voters in the state of Georgia, unregistered black voters. And it goes on and on and on and and on and on. We have millions of unregistered voters, black folk. We have black folk. We have millions of unregistered voters. There's also some statistics out there. A lot of the places, a lot of the states that Trump won, he won by 10,000 votes or less. 10,000 votes or less. And the, the numbers of black people that did not vote in those areas was in the hundreds of thousands. Which goes to show you, like everybody here say, your vote doesn't count. Your vote really does count. So you need to get out, register, and vote. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Look, and once again, I'm going to give this strategy. It was the same strategy that Barack Obama used, the same strategy, and it was taken from uh, Brother Jesse Jackson. Y'all can feel any way y'all want about Jesse Jackson, but he ran for president twice. And it had not been for his mouth, he probably would have ended up winning. All right. And let me explain how, because every single area. And once again, we go to high density black areas, high H density D B A H D B A high density black areas. I found out I first found out about them when I worked in the radio business and there were, you know, and, and we used to have ratings and those ratings were determined by the number of people, of course, that listen to a radio station or watch a television station. Well, one of the main things and one of the main focuses on those radio stations was what? Was the was the amount of population of black people. All right, the high density black areas, that's how come you if you notice there was a transition, like in the late seventies, early eighties, and then it continued on through the eighties and into the nineties. But if you notice in most of the lot and also in most of the larger metropolitan areas, the number one station in those areas is a black station. It is not a white station. Think about it. Go go to Philadelphia, go to, you know, go to New York, go to, you know, Washington, D.C., go pretty much anywhere up and down the East Coast and then go all throughout the South and those stations are black stations. And you know why? Because black folks make up the majority of the population. And all the stuff that they tell us, we don't get counted in the census. They give us those figures. They have never really counted us. And the other thing is, explain to me. You explain to me. And I, I, I challenge anybody to explain to me. Explain to me now. Explain it to me. How does a plantation have a master and a, a couple of overseers and 150 or 300 or 400 slaves, but yet and still the slave master ends up being the dominant population. 
All right. How does a person, you know, like Strong Thurman or like Jesse Helms, how do they get elected over and over and over again in a state where they don't have the majority? I remember when I first went to school at Hampton, well, it was Hampton Institute then, but Hampton University. And I couldn't want, I kept wondering how it was that Hampton had a, had a white mayor. Newport News had a white mayor. You know, all of these different places had white mayors, but they were the majority of the people there are black. And finally, when they woke up and realized they they never had they haven't had another white mayor since. I'm just saying, wake up, y'all register and vote And the way. the and, and what I'm trying to tell you is the way to achieve power. See, power is not just economic power is also what you can do, because look, when you vote, it determines what happens to the money. All right. If you're mad about schools, then vote and make them change the schools. If you're mad, if you're mad about health care, then vote and make them put in health care. And the other thing is, if and, and everybody keeps talking about, well, they don't do nothing because you don't demand that they do nothing. I remember my wife, my current wife right now. And and uh, and she said and, and we were talking about getting married, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. And she said, you know, most women don't demand that you marry them. You know, like you get these guys and they'll, and they'll, they'll hang around, you know, they'll be, they'll be, uh, friends with benefits. They have all this stuff, you know, the shack up, live together and everything and never get married. Well, the reason why that is, is because nobody demanded that they get married. Nobody, nobody, nobody put in any type of emphasis or any type of, type of effort in order to make anything progress or move forward. And that's what we are. We're apathetic. There are millions. There are millions of us, millions upon millions upon millions of us. We're all over everywhere, right? We're everywhere. You can't go any place and not find us. But if we registered and voted and then hold people accountable, we don't we don't get involved in the system. We, we stand from afar and complain. That's what we do. We just stand afar and say, oh, you know, well, they did this and they did that. So we'll stop letting them do it. Register and vote and then hold those people accountable. You know, one of the one of the things that it says in the Constitution is what we have a right to assemble for redress of grievances. That's what marching is about. Keep on marching. Keep on going. Go to these places. Go to these Senate meetings. Go to these chambers. Go to these, you know, city hall chambers. Go to go to Congress and, and demand that they make change. And then that's how you get what you want. You ain't going to get what you want sitting outside complaining. You know, it's what, what my grandfather used to call a signifying monkey. You just going to sit out there and just signify, you know, and tell them what they doing wrong and blah, da, 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 da. But you're not willing to put forth any effort to try to change it. You're not, you're not putting forth any effort. And it's very simple. Just go down. You don't, you don't have to pay. You don't have to do anything. And you can see that it's important to white folks. Why? Because they keep on trying to, they have been trying to keep you from voting since the inception of America. Since the inception of the United States of America, they have been trying to keep black folks from voting. All right. The first part was in the Constitution when they labeled you as three fifths of a human being. So your vote didn't even count as one whole vote. All right. Then they, they outlawed the right for you to vote at all because you were slaves. Then they came back. They had paper bag tests. You know, if you were darker than the paper bag or whatever, you know, if you, you know, they, or if you were lighter than the paper bag, you could vote. Then they had grandfather clauses. Well, if your grandfather voted, which they knew your grandfather didn't vote because your grandfather was a slave. You know, so they had grandfather clauses. Then they and now all the way up until now, they got voter. Try to make voter ID laws. They're purging, you know, just like Georgia. Georgia purged over a half a million people from their voter registration logs. All right. So that you can't vote. They during the during those last two gubernatorial uh, elections. What did they do when Stacey Abrams tried to run? What did they do? They hid ballots. They did all this stuff. The same thing in Maryland. They hid ballots. They they lost ballots. They acted like uh, they, they put polling places uh, where there were no people and where there were people. They didn't have enough poll workers and all that kind of stuff. All of this is strategic to keep you from voting. Why do you think they don't want you to vote? Because that's how the money is doled out. Why even in the same thing with the census? That's why they don't want you to answer the census. They really don't. They're happy you don't answer the census. Just like, you know what they do? They do stuff. And I found this out. They do stuff like they, they put prisons and jails in white areas. Think about 
ask yourself, where are the prisons in your state? Where are the prisons? Just like in Michigan, the biggest prison is in Jackson. And what is that? And they count those people in the census. They lock you up for life and then count you in the census and then use you in order to redistrict and make districts. What are they? Another another tactic is not allowing convicted felons or or convicts at all. After they have served their sentence, they do not allow in many states. They do not allow you to vote anymore. You, you, you feeling me? You got to get it, y'all. They they don't want you to vote and you're falling right into the trap. That's why that's why we have to vote and we have to vote, vote in huge numbers. And no matter what. OK, so what if you, you say so and so? OK, well, so and so is a racist and so and so is a racist. Well, vote them out or vote them in and then make them accountable and say, look, if you do anything racist the next time, you won't be in that office no more. Just like these senators that, that did not vote to convict Trump, everybody in those states and, and there's a list of or those or those four senators who decided that that it was not appropriate, you know, because they, they played the state's rights card. They decided it was inappropriate. What to, to, to have an anti lynching law? They, they, they think it's okay for people to lynch people. They need to go. Y'all, they need to go. Just like just like years ago, like, and that's why I mentioned people like Strong Thurman and Jesse Helms and all them kind of people. They need to go. They, well, they, they're gone. They're dead now. But I'm saying, but they needed to go. But y'all just kept being apathetic and they kept getting voted back in. And you, and you witnessed their tyranny over you for, for years because you didn't vote. That's what I'm trying to say. And everybody's like, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You know, why do you think, why do you think that, that the, one of the major focuses, and I don't agree with everything that went on during the civil rights movement, but one of the major focuses of the civil rights movement was the right to vote. The Voting Rights Act was a, a very important piece of legislation. And even then they tried to limit the stretch or the outreach of that. That's what the fight was about. They were like, okay, and, and we still have to renew it every few years. Do you get it? That's why they do that. Because if it, if, if, if it meant nothing, if voting really, truly meant nothing, then why did they do all this stuff to try to keep you from voting? Why? It was, you know, why, why waste their time? You know, they do everything in their power to keep power and control over you. And one of the major things that they do is they encourage just like just like you don't think that all this stuff that goes around in the Internet. As soon as somebody puts up, as soon as a black person puts up something about it's a waste of time to vote or whatever, it goes viral. <laughs> right. But I, but, you know, but but when it, but when I get on there and say you need to go and register and vote, go vote and it, it's free. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is go and sign a little piece of paper and bam, you in there like swimwear. <laughs> I know that's an old saying. It just came out and popped in my mind. I used to, you know, I used to, when I used to be a DJ. Anyway, I'm just saying, y'all, go out, register, and vote. Uh, it's still too early, so I don't know, you know, who who won the Super Tuesday stuff. But it's important, y'all. You know, and 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 the main thing is. Vote blue, no matter who, you know, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, I'm sort of leaning towards Bloomberg. I like him, you know, and it is, it has nothing to do with, you know, with his racism or nothing like that. They're all racist. Okay. You ain't going to find nobody. That's not, not 100%. You're not going to find a white person. That's not 100% non-racist. And they have all done and said racist things because they don't understand black culture. All right. You know, and this whole latest thing, like with Bernie and P.E., you know, I, I forget what's that other dude. He up there, uh, you know, dancing to back that thing up. <laughs> they're, they're pandering for black vote. And, and, all, and, and let's let's include that. Why do you think that they will put public enemy or they will put juvenile back that thing up? And this guy's on stage backing that thing up. Why? If, if black people didn't matter, if the black vote didn't matter, do you really think that they would be up there playing fight the power? Or back that thing up, or like when when Bill Clinton was running, he was he went on there, went on Arsenio, was playing the saxophone, and it, I'm telling you, you guys, they're begging for black votes, and that's how come Barack Obama won, and the reason why um, 
Trump won is because we didn't vote. Think about it. Obama won because we did vote. Trump won because we didn't. Apathy is not a strategy. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Fastest 15 minutes is over. It's over for today. But vote. Go out and vote.